Good morning. This is David Arnold, and I'm in the old Oddfellows Cemetery in Nevada City, California. And I have my iPhone set up on a tripod, and I'm experimenting with some different settings in the ProCam app. The ProCam app provides increased functionality to your iPhone. It allows you to control the ISO and the shutter speed. Uh, the aperture is fixed on all iPhones because of the uh, pan focus lens. There's only one aperture setting. But with the, being able to change the uh, shutter speeds and the ISO gives you some abilities to experiment with uh, the iPhone and it can be a, quite a bit of fun. So I've got it set up here and you can see the regular camera controls. This particular app allows you to photograph in RAW, which is great. And I'm going to go into the setting that I've been experimenting with for a couple of years now called the slow shutter setting. I'm going to click on show slow shutter and it gives you the ability to work with low light, with light trails, and with motion blur. And I've had most success with the motion blur setting and both with using it from a moving vehicle as well as experimenting with moving objects. But I've also been experimenting with, with still objects and uh, introducing motion and, and, and motion blur into the, into the scene. So it depends, the light is real dependent for the success of these kinds of experiments. And I've been experimenting in, this morning and finding four seconds setting is the most, uh, been the most successful. So I've got it set to four seconds and on motion blur. And then I just hit the shutter button. And then I've got four seconds to move like so. Let's see what we come up with. And oh, that's a little bit too much. Let's try it again. I'm going to go ahead and move it. And let's see what we got. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's try one more. That's pretty good. I like that one. I think that one can be enhanced in... Uh, Camera raw, some different settings. I like the, the overlapping of the different um, objects in that. So I think that one's going to 